viewers and subscribers you're welcome back again this is bvi channel one where truth is the gospel we preach and i want to address soludo on one part and the people on the other part with respect to the directive to end seat at home first with soludo that directive did not come from him too because he doesn't have that sens sensitivity towards the plight and agitation of the people and i must say it is born out of his desire to alleviate the suffering of the poorest of the poor among us those who are being hurt the most those who are being victimized the most those who are at the receiving end whenever we call for this compulsory or mandatory sit at home but nevertheless soludo committed what i would call a blunder by first of all dishing out this very directive without doing what i call first things first i appreciated him when he called the market leaders public transport union for a town hall meeting i was actually expecting like he promised to engage the agitators in a town hall meeting yes i'm sure the leadership of ipob they are not faceless they have their lawyers who have represented them in many ways and in many from which i am attended in one of the occasions they should come out and have a dialogue with the government to find a lasting solution to this whole thing but to go ahead to dish out that very directive without considering some certain things first is really premature. That is what I can say. And also, while I was driving around Orca yesterday, and if you are in Anambra State and and in Southeast generally, you will see and observe by yourself that all the police stations, including the headquarter. The state headquarters police command in Orca block the road leading to every police station in the state. Um, at uh, Amorbia Junction, I'm supposed to go through this axis, but let me turn around and show you what I'm my concern. There's a blockage here uh, by the police by Amorbia random. I'm up around about, you know, okay. That's the reason why I'm making this, because it's part of the things that Soludo must address. I'm making a new turn, because I'm supposed to go through that part right now. Looking at this side, this is one part of the road that has already been blocked by the police here. Yeah blocked by the police and um, there's no way i can go through that part if i want to go towards um, old road you can see how blocked this place is you can see how blocked this place is i wonder if um the police that is supposed to secure the people are afraid to block a public road like this what confidence will they reassure the people that they can safeguard them? That is the big question. You may not be able to see it properly, but you can see how this place has been blocked. So, busting out from this place, you can also see the blockage on this angle. They use this thing to block this side, and also to block this side. You can see, you may not be able to see it properly because of my back screen. So that's part of the things we are we are talking about. For well, every police barrack, they are block the road. Using road across every police station. If police stations are unsafe, why would people feel safe? That is it. I went through that of that of Orca. The story is the same. They block the entire road 
and leaving just one axis they, they just left they, they that was recently they just left one axis one channel for motorists to make use of it had brought untold hardship on the people and sending a very negative impression and message to the general public that the police is not even safe and this is the police that is expecting to protect the people now if the police are now running inside and locking their doors how then do you expect the people to have confidence that the same police will protect them if they come out to you know carry on their work their schools their business and the rest of them without being killed that is one thing the governor should address because the police is sending a different uh, message I had the governor directed by 4th of April that this thing should be brought to a complete stop and making arrangement that security forces will be out there to protect the people the same security forces that have not raised the confidence of the people that they can even protect themselves I mean the police they can't even protect themselves much more protecting the people that is the message they're sending and I believe the governor should address that first before saying or giving directive on the sit at home and I want to say it categorically and you have to understand that the government I mean the government under Soludo is not doing this because he doesn't like I said earlier because he doesn't um, that he doesn't feel the pulse of the agitators no that's not why he is calling for the end of sister Tom. Yes, just like my position I've said this several times that the statue is hurting us more than any other person and that is the truth so when we now come to the other side of it the people who is being hurt the most you know some people have argued that this sit at home is hurting the government and some people will say hey if it's not hurting the government why is it that they are working hard to end the sit at home it's because it is hurting them that is the narrow mindset many of these people have thinking that the sit at home is hurting God. it's not hurting government it is not even hurting Bugari or the federal government in Abuja it is only hurting the very lowest the artisans the keke na pep drivers nde na abo sa fe di mafia nde na emisi the poor of the poorest those who cannot survive those who cannot feed their families if they don't step out of their home these are the very people that are suffering the most in this city at home and that is the truth those on the upper class i mean the middle class the middle class has the importers business manufacturers and the rest of they don't really feel the impact so much in fact i've interacted with some of them they say oh this is at home should continue oh yes that is their position because they see it as a way to rest yes they see it as a way as long as the market is closed no problem they can rest they can have their rest on tuesday they can start their whatever business activity it doesn't touch they don't feel the they don't feel the impact it is these people i i drove around today you see them the people in the name is you see those um in the animal you see them there every monday they are out because they can't survive without coming out do you think about them do you consider them that is the question and what about the politicians those are the upper class the edits oh or even the government itself do you think that it affects them the answer is no it doesn't affect them for instance this government um, under Soludo now said oh the um, illegal collection of IGR will stop and they will find a digital way to collect in IGR for instance the Keketa Pep driver who will now go and pay for about a month or six months um revenue up front to the government and after paying it you go and sit at home every monday who loses the government doesn't lose anything they collect all their revenues the market you pay all the revenues you are supposed to pay 
everything. They collect every money. Now, if you decide to close your shops and don't go to market or don't work, it is your own business. You are the one that is losing, not the government. And the only time that we can say that the government people, I mean, the corrupt government officials are losing money is within the old order. Where they sell tickets or where they sell IGR contracts to their clones and through the back door collect public funds and pocket it for themselves. That is the only time those politicians or those in government are losing money. But in a sincere, straightforward working system, let me tell you, the government does not lose any color. It is you that will continue to lose. If you come to, down to the middle class as well, uh, the manufacturers, if they see that the Monday is, which is also affecting their business, maybe their production line being shut down, or uh, not those ones that are producing perishable products. If they look at what their operation, they will downsize. Who will lose their job? The ordinary people will lose their job. Or they will cut your salaries. Who will lose their salary? Their pay. The ordinary people will lose their pay. And these are the same people that Soludo is interested in alleviating their problem. And that is why he gave the directive. But misguided elements are hiding, masquerading as Biafra agitators under IPOB to ferment their criminality against the people. IPOB leadership have given directive that this is at home, whoever that is enforcing it is on his own, is a criminal, that government should go after them. That is the directive from the DOS. And the lawyers of Namdekan who have direct contact with Namdekan have not given, and uh, maybe have not said anything otherwise, or have not you know, count out that directive. But one man somewhere, people who are benefiting from the contribution that supposedly those who are sponsoring the enforcers of the seat at home, the carnage happening in our homeland, living outside this country completely, they are the ones benefiting because as long as the activity continues, the money will continue to rake in. And this is something many of you don't even know. Come to think of it, how does sit at home, sitting at home in Southeast affect Buhari in Abuja to release in Namdekan? And have the IPOB, have you generally accepted the political solution to this issue of release of Namdekan and also the agitation generally? Because I've been saying it, it is a political process. But by people, they don't want to care. Now, you are not interested in who becomes your governor or your representative. Now, you are now the one, same people asking the same Sabu to us to go to Abuja to speak on your behalf to release in Namdekan. They will not. They will not. Because they don't represent your aspiration. So my people will have to change this strategy and this narrative. That is why I took my time to make this analysis. Okay? So that both the government and the people will have a common ground to achieve our ultimate goal which is to rebuild our homeland and make it work again. Come to think of it, if the carnage and the insecurity happening in the South East that is happening today continues, who loses? We lose our enemies gain. Why help our enemies to destroy our homeland? We are trying to make our homeland conducive, secure enough for our people to bring back their wealth and investment back home. And some people are instigating insecurity and killing, which is now making more of our people to leave our homeland. Now, when we are talking about Akulono, they will tell you they have no business. And when our um, investments are more or less outside our homeland, how do you think that our people will support the um, um, self-determination uh, agitation? For the freedom of our people so it is all about shooting ourselves in the leg we are not even talking about the food security of people and start investing heavily in agriculture with what is happening today nothing we can't produce the food we eat we still depend on the north to supply us food 
These are the things, the basis we must look into. We shouldn't allow our enemies to use us to destroy ourselves. I believe, and I'll be ending on this note, that if a snake or a python, whatever, enters your house, you don't set your house on fire because you want to kill the snake. You find a way around it to get rid of it. And that is what I have been advising my people. Let us not set our homeland on fire. Let us not use our hand to destroy the very little thing we were able to rebuild by ourselves without the help of government. Let us not give our enemies the room to use us, that is where it even hurts the most, to use us to destroy ourselves. And that is just where I'll be wrapping it up. Drop your comments on this and let me have your opinion. I want you to know this, that those who are sponsoring and enforcing this hit at home on our people are the enemy of Ndibo and Biafra. And also, they are the ones working against the release of Nnamde Kano. Only those who get sense go understand what I'm saying. Maybe when we start doing our live interactive section, which will commence shortly, maybe within the week, then we will have time to elaborate more on this. But meanwhile, take this message around. Let everyone get to get and watch this video. I'm signing out. Drop your comments on the comment section. I want to have your opinion on this. Stay safe at all times. And be positive. Because at last, we will win. And we shall be free. I'm signing out. Stay safe. Bye-bye.